Okay, just want to talk a little bit about backups. Yes, backup your software, backup your programs, your data. Now, typically, when you do a backup, you want to back up your data files. Backing up your software probably doesn't make sense because of the registry. Okay, you still need the install disk to do the install and make it work in the registry. So usually you're backing up your data. Think about your pictures. And, and back these up. I mean, think about it. The only place in the world your pictures are is in the computer. You lose that, you lose all of your pictures. Uh, but the same goes with music. Uh, files, uh, um, data, important things, back them up. Now, you can use the backup command. And you, you, you say backup, what files? It'll compress the files, squish them down, and then usually put some, I don't have a DVD today. That's what backup does. If you need to get them back, you run the corresponding restore command. Reads the DVD. Uncompresses. I'm running out of space. Uncompress. And you get your files back. Now that's all good and great, but there's a problem with this. Right here. If you're using Norton to compress your files or to uh, back up your files, you got to have Norton's restore command. If you're using NIT, you got to use theirs. If you're using Microsoft Windows, you got to use Microsoft Windows. And these programs change. The compression routines change over time. So today I'm backing up with Norton. Probably not going to be a big deal. I'll use Norton for the next couple of years. However, 10 years from now, I may not be using Norton. I may not have this restore command if I ever have to get the data files back. Uh, and if I can't restore it, well, then the, the backup's no good whatsoever. So my suggestion is don't take your big files and make them just back up. Okay? You make them back up in the name of the word. Just copy your files to a DVD. You can copy thousands of pictures to a DVD. And if you copy the files, rather than use the backup, they're not compressed. They're not compressed, no compression whatsoever, and you're just copying the raw data to the DVD. The thing is, 10 years from now, that picture, JPEG or whatever it is, you're going to be able to read that format. You don't need to worry about the compress. Uh, and, and this happened uh, back in 98. Uh, people were going to a new uh, version of 98 service pack, new service pack. Uh, they backed up the data, put the new one on, didn't re just restore it anymore. Caused a lot of problems up there. So even Microsoft kind of screwed up there. So make copies of your files. Put them on a DVD. And then we had a fire in our house, suggest make a copy of that DVD, send it to mom somewhere else or somewhere else away from your house in case you do have a problem, you can always get those back. Now another real simple thing, it falls under the backup category. When you're working on a PowerPoint presentation or some file that you know, you're just not sure, you're going to try something different you haven't done before. Uh, go into your system, do uh, a, a, a office button, save as, okay, your file name will come up, and make it a file name, file name, dash one, another version. You're going to save that original, okay, now go out and try to do something different you haven't done before, uh, screws up your whole system. Just come back to file name dash one. You've got your uh, original file. You don't have to start all from scratch. Um, I do this a lot, especially with the music making software. Sometimes I'm up to version 36 on things because I'm trying new things all the time. And if I screw up, I don't want to have to start over from scratch. So I just need to go back, 
get the file, couple versions back, and then back at least that far. So this is kind of like your cheap man's uh, backup for right now. It works very well. And let me tell you, you never know when you may be working on a PowerPoint, instructor comes by, accidentally knocks out the plug to your computer, you lose it all. If you've done this or not, this a while, at least you're not going to go all the way back. I'm not going to tell you who it was, but she was pretty upset at me.